And maybe I messed up. Maybe I want some kind of weird ear in this region. Okay. I could easily concept that out. Hold shift. Kind of blend the two forms together. And you can always go down a little bit. By reconstructing, it will not allow you to do that. So I guess not. You're kind of stuck at this high level of maintenance. Forgot about that. Yeah, there's no such thing as topology right now. Uh, basically, these are all just piled on polygons. So what you see is what you get. You cannot ever go back to like lower levels. Not doesn't say that I can't turn this into a low level though. I have tricks for that also. I'm just going to take this move tool and kind of move stuff around. Do I like it? Do I not like it? Maybe the head needs to be a little bit bigger right in this area. If you take this RAM thing and turn it down just a little bit, because it's always way too high, and take and uh, turn your stroke to lazy mouse, you can kind of get in some really cool textures. So, And you hold shift and kind of take that to a new level where you can smooth it out. That's kind of like a deep surface texture that you can put in there because you can put what I like about having two forms of texture is you could put the, the high res texture over a, a very very deep base texture. And I'm going to choose something that you have it's from the stock like this. And I'm going to take the standard brush, take that in the drag rectangle, and then take it into maybe that, that same alpha. Okay, let's see what that is. Okay, it's got a huge, huge um, change there. So I'm going to radio fall off that. That way it's more of a circle change. Just like that. This whole form can be built up. Don't forget your part size too. Remember this is a uh, part of a another part. It's it's not the overall piece. So don't don't overdo the details on things. It will get kind of boring. And always kind of switch brushes and check out what you have it available. Don't be afraid of that. Okay, so once you get stuff done, you know, you can just <laughs> repeat wash and rinse until you got some really cool stuff going on.
You don't like something how it's changed. Change the pinch brush a little bit. Work with the form. Pinch it around. And if you don't like it, undo it. If you, want, if you feel like the forms are kind of boring, you know, it's, it's that clay tubes really add some texture to things. And it usually allows a really harsh transition between the first form and the second form. So sometimes you can really address things just by putting a few layers of clay tube over the top of it. So you can harden up these edges if you wanted to. Okay, so I'm going to switch over to another video.